before uh, before Aquaterra came into existence, there was a huge nuclear war where every country destroyed themselves. But because of Aquaterra's high intellect, were pacifists. <laughs> we stayed out of the war and hunkered down and prepared for the fallout, as you said. So we're the only ones left. Uh, my name's Bob Johnson. I'm a volunteer for the Future City Competition. I've been involved with the program since uh, its inception back in 1993. Well, this uh, competition is to Hello, instruct, sir. educate, teach uh, students, 7th and 8th grade students, what engineers do. We have a power plant right here, and we're, we run our city by renew, um, renewable energy and recycle recycling garbage and each these are the homes and each home is run by gray water and we have a terrorist attack program here is our city over here it's called otopos which is actually derived from the greek word for utopia we have our park area and our actual city and there are parks interspersed throughout our city we have the residential area commercial area and the industrial area. And if you'll look over here for a second, these windmills are actually able to turn on and spin a little. If you look under our model, we have the uh, maglev train, which, uh, and here's our station, and uh, that's pretty much uh, a, kind of like a subway, only it's run on electricity and it's propelled by electromagnetic pulses. They're encouraged to recycle materials because the model can't be costing more than $100. We don't want uh, mommy or daddy to subsidize a $1,000 professionally built model. So the kids have got to do it, and you know the best models are, they come up with some of the cleverest reuses of uh, recycled uh, materials. It's just a section of the city. So residential is all pretty close to where your job is. Is it? Is it? Kind of put everybody in one track. My name is Keith Bourne. I'm with the Chicago Committee on High-Rise Buildings. What I'm judging on is um, basically how their cities incorporate commercial, residential, and mixed-use high-rise structures. Um, each judge here has their own um, category or, or sponsorship, uh, area of sponsorship that they're judging each city on. It's just not building the model. It's just not the SimCity program. They also have to write an essay. And this year's topic was on water reuse. Each year the essay changes and it's on uh, some topical engineering technology issues. We also recycle our water so when it rains we have storm water collectors which collect our water. We also uh, recycle the water from our houses. Uh, it conserves water by using the water already used and recycling it and rainwater and well during the during the 2000, uh, 2180, um, not much more, not much fresh water are left. So, so and the and the water dug underground are all gone. So, so so we have to use all the remaining water to survive. I'm Tom Goodrich. I'm director of engineering for Spitfire Controls, and I'm working with Eisenhower Junior High. <laughs> I think they're doing a great job. You know, they're they're bright, talented young men and. Uh, it seems like they have a lot of people uh, looking at it and they're explaining it, so I'm really proud of him. Work with him. He's a really um, nice guy. He's a lot of fun. And he taught us a lot about it. Because we'd tell He's him what we wanted to do with it, and then he'd kind of point out the flaws in our plan that could come up. Looked up a lot of stuff on the internet. He'd yeah, help he'd us like figure help out us how to make stuff work. They, they have a hydrogen uh, power plant. Uh, it's the result of a, a, a city that's been built after a nuclear uh, uh, disaster. So they're one of the, the few surviving cities. This city has come um, out of the aftermath of a nuclear war. Worldwide nuclear war. Um, everyone else in the earth, or on the earth has destroyed each other. Um, and the then Aquaterra is the only one left because they had steel in their borders. We're pacifists. And they don't like wars. There's the program, the model, the essay, the presentations. They're all graded and judged. And then the points are all added up. And then we select uh, the five top teams who get grilled by a panel of distinguished engineering judges for an additional round of points. 
and then the winning team uh, gets to go to the national finals in Washington, D.C. Top five in no particular order. Washburn Middle School. They're only 13 and 14 year olds, but maybe in uh, 10 or 15 years, they'll be our future engineers, uh, scientists, architects, but really the creators of our future world. We have parks surrounding all of our island and also interspersed throughout. It's the Buses and trolley systems along these silver lines um, are all electric powered. It goes through a different filter and then is stored back in here for later use so everything that isn't used is used again. 